As the first rays of light streamed through the clouds, the roar of US fighter jets could be heard right across these desolate plains. This was the signal for the Peshmerga to launch their new offensive against ISIS. The mission, to reclaim the township of Hassan Sham and the surrounding area, which includes a strategic bridge, blown up by ISIS a month ago. The bridge connects the highway running from Erbil, Kurdistan's capital, to the city of Mosul, an ISIS stronghold just 30 kilometres away. Well, for more than an hour, two U.S. fighter jets, which you can hear now, have been circling, launching airstrikes on enemy targets, also providing that critical cover for these ground forces to advance towards the bridge. For the man in charge of these troops and this operation, Dr. Rolf Shawiz, he is the one communicating and coordinating with the Americans, advising them on ISIS targets. What are you wanting them to hit when you give the orders to, to strike? What, what will they with be hitting? Hammers or position where they are uh, fighting very strong there, which will be very difficult for Peshmerga to, to, to get in. And so far, the partnership is working well. Although the Kurdish forces have made no secret of the fact, they would like to see an intensification of the US air campaign. <laughs> After hours of strikes, artillery and mortar attacks, the horizon was filled with columns of rising black smoke. But some ISIS militants refused to retreat, one packing an oil tanker with explosives, driving it towards the Peshmerga front line. Luckily, it was taken out with an RPG, resulting in this explosion. By late in the day, the Peshmerga had suffered at least half a dozen deaths, but they had taken back control of the bridge. Well, up until this morning, this was the ISIS front line, but after an intensive ground operation by the Peshmerga, they have managed to clear out Hassan Shan and the surrounding villages of militants. Well, the focus now is this highway. It runs all the way to Mosul, and an operation is currently underway to carefully and slowly remove what the Peshmerga say are barrels filled with explosives and IEDs laid alongside the road. As the engineering unit began detonating the explosives, soldiers showed us some ISIS handiwork. Now this is what ISIS is laying alongside the road. It's a very primitive pressure plate, but if you step on it, it will set off an explosive. A deadly device that will no doubt litter the road all the way to Mosul. A future battle these forces know won't be easily won. Anna Corrin, CNN, Hassan Sham, Northern Iraq.